This video tutorial comes courtesy of Wilbur and Designs, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he basically said, thank you, you've helped me a lot, and would it be possible to make a video tutorial on how to fix position headers in CSS? And I said, no problem, I'll work on that right this second. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if we head over to my project example, which I made on my localhost, you can see that it's just a simple black background and light gray content areas. You can also notice that the header if we go over and scroll down the page, you can see that it stays at the top and disappears. Now, the aim for the end of this tutorial is going to make that header follow us, e.g. making it fixed to the top of the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Dreamweaver CS6, which is what I'm working in. Bear in mind you can work in any text editor. The first thing you're going to notice is that the content has a height of 2000 pixels. Now, this is just set so that we can scroll down the page. On your website, this might be set to auto so that it automatically expands depending on your content. Another thing you'll notice is the two divs we have, one with the class of header and the other with content. Within the header class, you can see that we have the height of 50 pixels. Now this sets the height of the main header, obviously, and we have a light color gray background, a border which is a bit darker gray. Now the width is set to 950 pixels at the moment, and the margin is zero pixels, which is the top margin, and then the rest of the margins are auto, which makes it align to the center. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of that margin and we're going to put in a position of fixed. Now once we've done that, we're just going to change the width for this first example to 100%. Now this is one way of doing it. Now you can see that the height is 50 pixels on this and we want the content to be split by 20 pixels. So we just add 50 pixels onto that top margin, making it 70. So you can see if we do this, then you can see that we've successfully made the header stick to the top of the page as you can see that it slides down, but it's not right to the top of the page. So what we need to do is within that class that we made in CS6 of Dreamweaver, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a new attribute and it's going to be top and it's going to be zero pixels. That means that it's just going to push it right to the top of the browser there. Okay, and that looks perfect, and it follows with the page staying at the top, overlapping the content. Okay, so some people might not want that, and some people might want it to stay at 960 pixels and still be in the center and la di da di do. So how we're going to do that is what we're going to do is we're just going to, well, my fix for it is we're just going to change this back to 960 pixels. And as you can see, that it just goes to the left but that's not good enough because it still scrolls, but we want it to be in the center. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do margin zero and auto. Now you might think that this will fix it, but if we look again, you can see that it's just exactly the same. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a new class and it's going to be called header middle score cont standing for header container. Now we're going to open and close the curly brace and we're just going to put in the width of hundred percent. The positioning or the position of fixed and then we're just going to align it right to the top again now all of that fixed positioning and top we can remove from this div so basically we're just going to wrap that header content around the header div now that's just going to allow this header to be a normal div and be in the center but then with the header content it will make it fixed as well so basically we were applying two classes to one div Okay, so once we just wrap that around there, now if we look at it in the browser, you can see that it's worked exactly how we like it. And you can see that if we scroll down the page, that the header stays on top. Okay, so that's my two ways of making fixed CSS headers. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you rate and comment and like this video. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to Helping Develop and go to helpingdevelop.com for all the webmaster forums and help. Thank you.